Whether you're a diehard bok choy fan or you're completely new to this vegetable right next to me, I'm gonna show you three different ways to prepare bok choy that you are gonna fall in love with. First up is sauteed bok choy with ingredients like garlic, olive oil, a little sea salt, vegetable broth, mirin rice wine. Now the rice wine is optional and you could replace it with just more vegetable broth if you prefer, but it does add a nice sweet flavor if you can find it. I really love the taste of it with this recipe. To prep the bok choy, I'm removing the end. Then I'm going to place the leaves in a bath of cold water. Cutting them in half can help depending on the size of your bowl. And you're gonna find some bad spots on them, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to deal with all these types of little spots and blemishes. Easy enough to remove when we prep the bok choy. So a vegetable peeler actually works perfectly to get these surface blemishes removed. Just carefully use your peeler and you can easily scrape them off. I'm always amazed how well this works. I mean, look at the difference between these two. So I'm just gonna run through and keep peeling off any bad spots using my knife when needed. If you have any deeper blemishes like this, any bad spots can be cut out. Then we're gonna cut the bok choy into half inch thick slices. And this is just the stem part that I'm chopping up so far. Now I'm gonna slice the leaves into little bite sized pieces. So I make some strips and stack them up together and then cut them across the other way to make little squares. I heated up a large skillet over medium high heat and added a tablespoon of olive oil, three tablespoons of vegetable broth, the stems from our one bunch of bok choy, and two cloves of minced garlic. I'm cooking and stirring this for a few minutes. Now add the chopped leafy greens. I'm gonna also add a pinch of sea salt. Cover and cook for a few more minutes. Now add two tablespoons of the mirin rice wine or a little more vegetable broth. Give it a little stir. You can see how they're softening up nicely. Get yourself a steam facial while you're doing this. Then we're gonna cover and cook for another minute or so just until the greens are wilted but still a nice bright green color. Now transfer this gorgeous, perfectly cooked bok choy to a serving bowl and serve with lemon wedges. And you can always serve this with your favorite dressing if you like. Personally, I love the subtle flavor of the garlic. Recipe number two is a bok choy salad. So I'm gonna chop up another bunch of bok choy, prepping it first by washing it thoroughly in cold water. And this is the part where you get to find out how sharp or dull your knife is by cutting this super thin. You could also use a mandolin or food processor to get it this thin. Now I'm gonna chop up the leaves. So I'm separating the stem from the leafy green part and rolling up the leaves and cutting these in more of a chiffonade type manner. So we're gonna stack them up, roll them up like a little cigar and super thinly slice them. Voila, you'll have about four cups. Now let's slice up some grapes. I'm gonna want about one cup of grapes, so I used 11 very large green grapes. I'm just thinly slicing these as well. And they're gonna add such a nice refreshing quality to this salad. I'm gonna slice up four red radishes. And can I tell you how great red radishes are? They're good for heart health. They're rich in antioxidants. They even may have antifungal properties. So they're really great for your liver and digestion. I'm softening up this lime by rolling it around, getting the juices flowing. And now just bring all the salad ingredients together in a large bowl. Add the radishes, and I'm adding a teaspoon of sea salt. I'm juicing my one lime. And I'm just gonna mix this together with my hands. 
I'm rubbing the salt and the lime juice into the vegetables and the fruit. I'm cutting up half an apple. I'm removing the seeds with a melon ball tool. Then I'm going to take little notches with my knife to remove the stem end. And just like our bok choy, grapes, and radishes, I'm going to cut this super thin. So you definitely want to have a good sharp knife to do the job. And then we'll add this to our salad and toss it again. Let the salad sit for 20 minutes to marinate. It helps to soften it and break it down, almost like a coleslaw. If you enjoy simple flavors like I do, serve the salad as is, or serve it with your favorite dressing. And for our third and final bok choy recipe, I'm preparing baby bok choy. This baby bok choy is a little on the larger side, and this amount will serve two to four people. I'm gonna trim off the bare minimum from the stem side of the bok choy. I want that to hold together because it looks really pretty in the presentation. So I'm just gonna slice it in half lengthwise. Doesn't this look beautiful? And I'm gonna wash it again to get rid of any dirt that might be hiding inside. Now I'm gonna drop the bok choy in rapidly boiling water, almost like you would cook pasta. And we're gonna let them in there for just a minute or less. We just want it to turn bright green, but still be crisp tender. I'm using my mesh skimmer spoon, but you can use a slotted spoon or a pair of tongs to remove the cooked bok choy. Now I'm going to place the cooked baby bok choy in a strainer that's inside of a bowl to catch any liquid that comes off of the cooked bok choy. I'm going to let it cool in there. Of course, you could run it under cold water if you like, or even immerse it in an ice bath to cool it down more quickly. Before adding the remaining bok choy, make sure the water is still boiling. This method of scalding vegetables in boiling water for a short period of time is known as blanching. And it's a great way to cook other vegetables too. I often cook carrots this way or broccoli. Place the cooked and drained baby bok choy on a serving platter and I'm drizzling it with a sweet mustard dressing. I'll put the recipe below the video, but it's basically a combination of mustard, olive oil, lemon juice, a little maple syrup, and some sea salt. It really has a nice balance of flavor and it adds just the right touch to the baby bok choy. I'm also going to sprinkle it with a condiment called gomasio, which is ground sesame seeds, and the variety I'm using has seaweed added. If you don't have this or you can't find it, you can always use just some toasted sesame seeds. If you want a little kick, feel free to add some red chili flakes. Some sliced fresh citrus adds a beautiful touch to the baby bok choy. And there we have our three dishes made with bok choy. These recipes are simple, easy, versatile, and a great way to enjoy bok choy. This is totally exciting to have bok choy made three different delicious ways. We got our garlic sauteed bok choy, simple boiled baby bok choy with a dressing, and then our bok choy salad. It's time to taste test. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. This salad is so refreshing. You're gonna love this one. And then what's not to love about simple, lightly boiled bok choy with a dressing. I love the easiness of this one. It's just so quick to prepare. And the sauteed bok choy. We got the garlic going on there. Mmm, so good. That was the saute bok choy, amazing. Now I'm going in for a little bit of the salad. I can make sure I get a grape and a radish. I love that little bit of salt combined with the, the freshness of the lime juice in the salad. Wow, amazing. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.